If you're looking for a solar panel to add to your current power backup, then EcoFlow has a range on the market. Most notable are their portable models, which means these don't get mounted on your roof, but rather carried around and packed up when you're done. This specific model I'm reviewing is the 220 watt bar facial panel that folds up and fits snugly into a portable carry bag. These portable solar panel solutions come with some pros and cons. The good is that you can carry them around and move them about to get the best sun depending on the time of day. The bad is that they can often be a pain to set up and they are also quite limited in charging which means they won't work if you have large batteries that require huge amounts of power to keep going. This specific model is a 220 watt rated unit. Like other EcoFlow products, the brand wants this experience to be simple. So in the box you get the unit packed in a carry bag, you get some clips, a wire and some manuals. The carry bag also doubles up as the mount for the solar panel when you set it up, but I'll get to that in a bit. The EcoFlow 220 watt portable solar panel is also RP68 waterproof, which means it can withstand rain and water. Then again, why would you have the solar panel out in the rain when there's no sun during a storm? Perhaps it's there in case it starts raining and you can't get to it before it gets wet. Regardless, it is a nice feature to have if you think it's going to help you. The unit itself is pretty heavy, when packed in the bag it totals just under 10 kilograms. The bag is handy for carrying this around and the panel itself unfolds into a full size unit which is 82 centimeters tall and 183 centimeters long, so just under 2 meters long. The bag also doubles up as the kickstand for the solar panel so without it you'll have a tough time keeping it up. There are 4 panels attached to one another with a flexible material. The leftmost panel contains the MC4 connector for the solar unit which then gets plugged into the power backup. To set it up I had to remove the panel from the carry bag and secure the bag itself to the two inner panels on the unfolded unit. The inner two panels include four holes which are linked to the bag's clips. Two clips are at the top and two are at the bottom. Once connected the bag was automatically open and supported by the panels at a 45 degree angle. This provides the optimal angle for absorption. This is a monocrystalline panel which is great for a number of reasons. It has an incredibly long lifespan of up to 30 years before it starts to degrade. Monocrystalline also has a more efficient charge rate. This EcoFlow 220 watt portable solar panel is also bifacial which means both sides of the panel can capture the sun's energy. Of course one side will predominantly be facing the sun and the back side is used for extra absorption. There's also a catch to this, the back side of the unit will in no way capture as much energy as the front. That's because it is facing away from the sun. The back side relies on reflected light to absorb as much energy as possible. Reflected light also changes depending on the surface that you put the panel on. If it was on a white floor for example, we all know white absorbs more sun so this would increase the charge. In my test I wanted to see just how far this EcoFlow solar panel could take both the Delta 2 and the River 2 Max. The panel itself is rated at 220 watts but you can get slightly more from it thanks to the back panels which can absorb a little bit more energy. EcoFlow promises a 23% conversion rate for this 220 watt panel. What this means is that you'll never get 220 watts of charge power from the panel itself. You're likely to get around 160 watts to 190 watts at the max. The same goes for the back side which only has a 40 watt rating. This means it can provide a little bit extra charge of around 25 watts during perfect conditions. Of course perfect here means a very sunny day and the panel should be on a bright surface so the back panels can absorb rays properly. But even if you can't provide a bright surface for the unit to sit on, the back panels will do their best to help increase the charge even if it is only a slight difference. So think of this panel as a 360 degree solar solution, terms and conditions apply. Other things to consider when using this panel is the weather and even the temperature. Cooler weather actually helps solar panels absorb more energy. Hotter weather on the other hand isn't as effective due to the heat produced during the conversion. This midday sun in winter is the best case scenario to test the solar panel. We have some great winters in South Africa, even though it has been cold, I had a few sunny days where I was able to test the EcoFlow 220 watt solar panel out on. Testing this was pretty easy, I placed the unit on my lawn because that's likely the best spot, I didn't have very bright surfaces elsewhere. I connected the solar panel MC4 connectors to the included wires in the panel's box and then plugged that into my River 2 Max and Delta 2. 
I also discovered that the stand acts as a great place to store the charging unit. It is shaded and the weight also acts as a great counterweight so the wind won't blow the panels over. I'm not sure if EcoFlow intentionally made it this way but hey, it's likely the most useful part of the stand carry bag. The EcoFlow River 2 Max, which I recently covered in another video, is likely the best companion for this panel. It has a 512 watt per hour battery, which is half the capacity of the Delta 2. This means this unit can charge up much faster. During my tests, in optimal conditions, the panel charged the River 2 Max at around 180 watts. This would recharge the entire unit in just over 3 hours. The Delta 2, on the other hand, took a bit longer because it has a bigger battery. The panel would take around 6 to 7 hours to fully charge the unit. There were times when the solar panel didn't produce the same energy. Cloudy days and even a slight haze in the sky were a hamper on the charging. However, the panel still produced around 100 to 130 watts of power. In thick clouds, this dropped down to 50 watts, which of course would be a challenge to charge. So even if it is cloudy, you should still use this outside, but it all depends on the intensity of the sun and how thick the cloud coverage is. After spending a few days with the unit, I was quite impressed by how versatile it really is. It is also a perfect companion for other EcoFlow products. The panel is for someone who needs alternate ways to charge portable power solutions, but at the same time, it can be used as a great but limited solution for disconnecting various parts of your home off the grid. Keep in mind that this product is also expandable so users can link more of the same or even higher wattage models to extend the performance on offer. I think most importantly this product is great for those who need to charge on the go thanks to its awesome portability. So that's my experience with this EcoFlow solar panel. Huge thanks to the brand for sending it my way to test out. I use this as an opportunity to learn a bit more about solar charging. Be sure to check out the River 2 Max and the Delta 2 review I have on the channel too. I'll leave the link in the description down below. I also have the Delta 2 expandable battery review coming up soon, so stick around for that. As usual, thanks for watching and please do consider liking and subscribing for future content. Visit www.glitch.online for more gaming tech news and reviews. Until next time, farewell.